Once upon a time in Syracuse, New York, lived a boy whose parents divorced when he was young. Nobody ever imagined that one day he would become the famous rapper, singer, songwriter, and record producer known as Post Malone. But how did Post Malone become a celebrity? And why did he want to become a rapper? What is his real name? Has he really been called the Donald Trump of hip hop? Does he really spend $40,000 a year on junk food? Is he really afraid of flying? Is it true that his tattoos of many famous people? And what was his life like before fame? It's time for me to answer all these questions and more. Since this is a This is the tale of Post Once upon a time in Syracuse, New York, lived a boy whose parents divorced when he was young. Nobody ever imagined that one day he would become the famous rapper, singer-songwriter, and record producer, known only as Post Malone. But how did Post Malone become a celebrity? Why did he become a celebrity? What is his real name? Has he really been called Donald Trump of hip hop? Does he really spend $40,000 a year on junk food? Is he really afraid of flying? Is it true that he has tattoos of many famous people? What was his life like before fame? It's time for me to answer all these questions and more since this is ASMR Aaron, back at it again with another daily video to help you relax. So lay back and enjoy the ride. I hope this video gets you through your day, or even better, I hope this read helps you gently fall asleep. I can't wait to get started. This is the tale of Post Malone. Post Malone was born as Austin Richard Post on July 4th, 1995, in Syracuse, New York, the USA, to Rich Post and his first wife. His parents eventually divorced, and his father, who was a disc jockey in his youth, raised him with his second wife, Jody Post. He also introduced young Austin to different genres of music, including country, rock, and hip-hop. When Malone was nine, he and his family moved to Texas after his father was allotted the post of a manager of concessions for the football team, the Dallas Cowboys. He began learning the guitar after watching the video game Guitar Hero in 2010, he auditioned for the American rock band Crown the Empire, but was rejected. At the age of 16, he created his first ever mixtape, titled Young and After Them Riches, using the digital audio editor Audacity. He shared it with some of his schoolmates at the Grapevine High School, and was voted most likely to become famous by them as a senior in high school. As a teenager, Malone worked at a Chicken Express. He attended Tarrant County College for a while, However, he dropped out from there and moved to Los Angeles, California with Jason Probst, his friend and professional game streamer. After moving to Los Angeles, Post, Probst, and a few other artists and producers formed the group BLCKVRD and began creating music together. Soon after, Malone wrote the song White Iverson and released the song in August 2015. On July 19, 2015, he released a music video for the song. The song White Iverson received more than 1 million views within a month of its release, gaining Malone much popularity in the music industry. In August 2015, he signed a deal with Republic Records. In August 2015, he also performed at the event of Kylie Jenner's 18th birthday party. During the party, he met Kanye West, who was impressed by him, and asked him to join him on his single, Fade, from the album The Life of Pablo. 
Malone subsequently recorded with a number of renowned rappers such as 50 Cent and Young Thug. The American rapper later collaborated with the Canadian pop sensation Justin Bieber and performed the opening act for Bieber's Purpose World Tour in 2016. On April 20th, 2016, Malone premiered his new song titled Go Flex on Beats 1. In May that year, he released his first full-length mixtape titled August 26. He also made his TV debut the same year when he performed on Jimmy Kimmel Live. He released his much-awaited debut album, Stony on December 9, 2016. It had the hit single Congratulations featuring Quavo. The album debuted at number 6 on the U.S. Billboard 200. On February 20, 2018, he previewed Psycho, his new track with Ty Dolla Sign. The song debuted at number 2 and later peaked at number 1 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. His second album, Beer Bongs and Bentleys, was out in April 2018. In February 2017, Post Malone talked about his album, Beer Bongs and Bentleys, that was all set to be released in December that year. In September, Malone released the first song from this album titled Rockstar. The song debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and managed to hold the spot for about eight consecutive weeks. In November 2017, the official music video for the song was released. His album Beer Bongs and Bentleys was released on November 27, 2018, and went on to be certified double platinum in the U.S., Canada, and New Zealand. It also recorded phenomenal sales in other countries, such as Mexico, the U.K., and Switzerland. Post Malone has been described as the Donald Trump of hip-hop. By Republic Records, the executive of the record label believes that the things that should have killed Malone's music career have only made him more popular. The American rapper has also been referred to as a rich child whose parents paid his way into music. He has been called a culture vulture several times on social media, as well as by different publications for appropriating African American culture. In an interview given to GQ in 2018, Malone stated that it's a struggle being a white rapper. In a November 2017 interview with New Once, the singer said that the current hip-hop music does not involve people talking about real shit. He also stated that if you're thinking about life, don't listen to hip-hop music. After the statements, Malone received social media backlash, including caustic comments from fellow rappers Vince Staples and Lil B. Post Malone currently resides in Los Angeles. He also owns a $3 million home in northern Utah. Malone has dated the popular rapper Ashlyn Diaz in the past. The couple met each other after Malone booked Diaz for a show. Ironically, Post Malone is the delivery company Postmates' biggest customer, reportedly spending $40,000 a year, earning him the playful nickname Postmates Malone. His favorite food orders are Chick-fil-A, Panda Express, Burger King, and KFC. Post Malone admits in an interview, flying scares the shit out of me, and he has good reason to be. In August of 2018, he was a passenger in a jet headed to London when two tires blew during takeoff. There are many tats on post, including on his face, but one of the most intriguing is one of musical legend Bob Dylan, which is featured on his left arm. Post might seem especially patriotic for having a tattoo of the popular late 35th president John F. Kennedy. However, his reasons for getting that tat are based on how Kennedy fought against government corruption. And so ends the tale of the famous rapper, singer-songwriter, and record producer Post Malone, who lived happily ever after, entertaining audiences with his amazing music.